Terry Crews is being canceled. Terry Crews is being canceled. Maybe cancel is a strong word, but a lot of people are antagonizing him because of a tweet that he had made. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the tweet pulled up right now, but I can go, I can get it in just a second. And as a matter of fact, I'll put it up on the screen right here. Now, in this tweet, Terry Crews says, if you are a child of God, you are my brother and sister. I have family of every race, creed, and ideology. We must ensure hashtag Black Lives Matter doesn't morph into Black Lives Better. So, so people are mad about this and people are saying to him that he's essentially his character in White Chicks. One girl says it's like Terry Crews is becoming his character in White Chicks. Then she shows a clip from the movie where Terry Crews is basically showing that he's a coon. Matter of fact, I'll put that clip right here. I ain't what you think I am. <laughs> Baby, we all got secrets. That's okay. Are you telling me that you are not? Yeah, I'm not a woman. White? Oh, the, the deception. Another person said, you really are the character from White Chicks in real life, huh? That was Benjamin Dixon. Another person says, you dead ass wasn't acting with your character on White Chicks. And then she follows up and says, didn't anyone tell you this is an all white affair? Get this jigaboo out of here. Oh, okay, that's a quote from it. And the movie's funny, but you see, I said something in a previous video about this. And I actually specifically mentioned Terry Crews being canceled because his opinion, his political affiliations, or it's not his political affiliations, because I don't even know if he's Republican or Democrat. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. I never, I never looked into it. But the way he views this political um, topic and his ideology differs from how these people handle it. He's not saying, he's not saying anything that's, that would imply he's a coon. But you see these people, they'll cast you out. They cast you out. Black Lives Matter and black people are, are casting this man out because... He's saying, and he's keeping the same energy. He's saying, don't base, don't be racist. And I believe I even said this in a, in a video that if you keep maintaining this ideology, if you keep maintaining this thought process, if you get what you eventually want, which black people, I'm, I'm referring to black people, because right now black people, their whole thing is racism is benefiting off of a system. They want to be able, uh, you can't be racist if you're not white, where blah, blah, blah. And with this type of thought process and the way we like to move and go about things and and how we feel, but just like our ideology. Well, I don't want to say our because I don't feel that way. But if you were to get what you wanted, which was to be at least, at the very least, in the same economic and systematic power situation as white people are, you would then be racist. All of these people who are, who are saying all this shit. Because they try to justify things like saying, oh, it's not racist, it's prejudice. They they literally saw a video where a, a group of black teens, they were 18 years old, was beating on this special white boy and saying, fuck white people in the video. And they even found ways to say that that wasn't racist. This type of thought process that we have if you just take that thought process, give it to a white person, they'll say that that person's racist. So with that thought process in your mind, and then you get what you want, which is the same systematic power as white people essentially, essentially you want to become them. You want to become this thing, this entity that you're saying is so evil. And Terry Crews is kind of saying that. He's saying, don't let this become about promote, don't let this stray from becoming about promoting black lives mattering and and trying to better black people. Don't let this stray from becoming that into becoming black people need to become superior and on top of white people. Which makes sense. Because if they keep this up at this rate, it's going to become that. And people are calling him a coon for it. Also, I want to add he has a black wife. So I don't know how he's a coon, but all right. They're saying he's an Uncle Tom because his character in the movie was a fucking Uncle Tom. 
And it, you saw in that clip, he was, it was, it's pretty obvious, you know, that he was mad because he was, uh, he was black and not because he was a man. He was, he was more mad about him being black, which is funny. It's funny as hell in the context of the movie and everything. You know, and obviously no one's mad about the movie. Oh, the, the deception! Yeah, so, Terry Crews being canceled, I, I'm, just for having this opinion. I mean, I don't really have too much to say. I, I've, I've said this before. I don't want to be a broken record. If things keep going the way that they do, it's it's going to be scary, man. Things Because they are already at a scary place. They apparently breaking into the house of, what was it, the governor of Seattle? Some people from Chaz. Well, not breaking in, but they came onto her property or something. And then that whole situation and ordeal in, I believe, St. Louis, where a family came out with guns. The way the media was distorting it, like they just came out and they was like, oh, we're going to shoot us some black people. It wasn't even like that. That situation was not even like that. There were people who were threatening them, saying they were going to kill their dog, saying that they were going to kill them. And then the nigga came out with the gun. You telling me, if motherfuckers come on your property start saying how you going to kill you and you got a gun, you ain't finna come out with a goddamn gun? Wouldn't, regardless of any race. But you see, the media's twisting it. They're twisting it to make them seem like they're, they're racist. And if it's, if it's just like, oh, the media's twisting it, you know, it would be... It's it's typical of the media, but now they're considering putting these people in jail. Like I, I don't know who said it. It was some like political person. It was the circuit attorney of St. Louis that said this, and she said, I am alarmed at the events that occurred over the weekend, where peaceful protests were met by guns and violent assault. We must protect the right to peacefully protest, and any attempt to chill it through intimidation or threat of deadly force will not be tele tolerated. My office is currently working with the public and police to investigate these events. Make no mistake, we will not tolerate the use of force against those exercising the First Amendment rights and will use the full power of Missouri law to hold people accountable. So, she's worried about their First Amendment rights, as she should be. But, you're only upholding one end of the Constitution because they were upholding their Second Amendment right to bear arms. Especially when people are coming onto your property and threatening you and they have... I don't know, weapons as well, but that's just me. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, if things keep going the way that they do, you're going to start to, man, things are going to get bad. And more people are buying guns now because of stuff that's happening. Because they want to cancel the cops. They want to defund the police. You start taking the police away. People are like, oh, shit, well, I got to defend myself. I got to fucking defend myself. Chaz has only been open, what, seven days, eight days, and there's been five shootings. What? Yeah, sorry to pause it again, but I just want to let you guys know that one of them was a 14-year-old boy, and he's critically injured. And also, a man was murdered in the fifth shooting. So, <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's stupid. If you like the video, leave a like. Um, share the video. The comment. Say how you feel about it. Um, if you're new, you didn't see this before, subscribe. I'm out.